And in this time, we see the truth in the darkness, in the darkness of the silo. We get a flash. We get a flash in the cafeteria of what it looks like outside. And so so I wonder, I wonder what fraction, I wonder if, if people in the cafeteria saw this. Right there, right there for, I don't know, 200 milliseconds, you get a flash of, wow, really good, really good scanning there. Yeah, yeah, you get a flash of what it looks like on the outside, what it actually is. And so I guess the people in this room don't know, and some of them are cowering, looking at each other. Somebody probably was looking at the screen. And so I wonder, I wonder what will happen in the next episode when people start questioning what is going on here. I didn't notice this, but we talked about how maybe so when the power went out the filtering computer or software shut down just before the camera shut down gave this window of time where the raw feed from outside showed through and it's green and blue skies and so that could really destabilize the silo society because they they have to have this fear which is keeping them all underground but if they think that outside might be okay that could be some serious civil unrest and i think i think that's why the it guy was so angry because he wasn't like prepared for the shutdown and so then he potentially got exposed here um, so you think the it guy knows the outside is green and lush and he's putting on the filter to make everything look like it's dead because that's what the society needs to stay contained and and stable stable how it is even though they're all un, uh, effectively in prison. Do you think judicial's in on it? They know too. Hard, hard to say. They they could be good actors, like like they could be like doing the right thing based on what they believe. And they actually believe it outside is is dangerous. Um, they also could just be power hungry and like you can't let people go outside because then judiciary wouldn't have control over them anymore. Um, I don't know. I don't know at this point. I would imagine if judi- if anybody knows in IT judicial or even the mayor's office. It's only a select handful near the top who know. Yeah. And maybe a highly trusted software technician, IT person who maintains the software and that particular server. I mean, heck, if I was the IT guy, I would I would train my technician guy working in IT, someone my underling. I would tell them that they're doing something else so that they're like, I'm doing a good job, I'm doing this, but they're actually doing something else that, that, that I control. So it, it really could just be a very few people at the top. Mm-hmm. And, and in fact, really, we, we see it's not the mayor either. Mayor doesn't know about this. Yeah, mayor probably doesn't know. Would, but there would have to be at least one technical person who would be brought into the higher up group who would know. Because you, you, you have to have somebody maintaining the server, right? Right. You have them maintain the server, but you tell them it's doing something else. And so they don't even realize that this thing is making a filter on the outside world. So I was thinking, would it be better for the higher ups to keep it secret from that worker or rope that worker into the group and just vet that worker extremely carefully? So then then they know exactly what's happening and then they can really adjust problems as they come. I guess it depends on how much you trust that one one worker. If you can trust him to keep it secret, then okay, yeah, because then because then uh, an employee that knows what the situation is can make the best decisions, and so they can be the best employee. But if you if you tell an employee uh, an upper level management secret that they then like disseminate to everyone else, that that could be real bad. There is turnover in leadership. So if the IT guy knows, I mean, he wasn't originally the IT guy. There had to be some power transfer from one IT guy to the next, or one judicial guy to the next. They could how they vetted down the line. I don't know. You convince me because if if the IT guy dies, then who continues to do this? Like 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 that's a that's a single point of failure. So I guess I'm, I'm imagining similar to how the sheriff chooses their their replacement, the IT guy chooses their replacement and lets him in on the secret. So then, if the IT guy dies, then the second person comes in and they immediately are able to take over and keep this thing running. And it's up to them to get a new replacement. So the fact that this was shown accidentally means secret isn't quite out i feel like leadership could gaslight the population and be like you didn't see that no that's not what that. you saw it was a, right. no, 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 and, and when the screen can, when the power comes back on the screen goes back to like desolate dead outside so so you could gaslight the people just a, a, a group hallucination you know it's stressful times stuff everything dark super weird it's scary you may you may see things Potentially, though, this could be the moment 
That destabilizes the silo. I went back and watched the scene and some people are like cowering because it's scary and they're like looking at their loved ones. But but if you're sitting in a circle, somebody's pointing in the right way. Like, So I wonder. I wonder what fraction of people saw it. Right, because if you're they, talking to your buddy, screen's behind you. And he's like, did you see it? And you're like, oh, too no. late. You missed it. But they saw I it. I swear I saw it. Like, no, you didn't see anything, dude. Maybe. I don't know. This is, but this, this is exciting. We'll see what happens in the next episode. And we still have what the hell was in the water in the tunnel that George Wilkins found. We still don't know. Yeah, lots, don't know. lots coming up.